Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I've got a sirloin pecan or a sirloin cap that my buddy Kevin down at the butcher shop sent me. And I'm gonna cook it a little bit different. I've never done this, but I'm gonna treat it like a prime rib. Keep it whole, season it with some good salt and pepper, get it in some smoke and just cook it to where it's medium rare. I know it's gonna be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So this picanha weighs about three pounds. This is actually Australian Wagyu beef. And you can see it has some beautiful, beautiful marbling in it. So you know it's gonna taste fantastic, as long as I don't screw it up and overcook it. Now the big thing with cooking picanha or sirloin cap is you always wanna know where the grain runs. Now most times you see this picanha cut in big chunks and doubled over on a skewer, seasoned with salt and then roasted over some fire. That's kind of the Brazilian steakhouse way. But I wanted to see what it was like keeping it whole, kind of like a prime rib, and just cooking it right on my drum smoker. Now, picanha or sirloin cap always has this nice piece of fat over the top, and I'm not gonna trim that off. That's my insulation. I love the way this fat tastes when it gets a little charry when it crisps up, but I'm gonna help it just a little bit by making some light score marks on it. By doing that, I'm just gonna take a knife and go thin inside it, just kind of score the fat. We're gonna go one direction all the way across, spaced out about an inch. You're not cutting deep, we're just making shallow cuts. Then kind of spin it a little bit, do the same thing going in the opposite direction. That's gonna let that fat open up as it starts to render. Let some of those juices drip out. It's gonna help it crisp up a little bit. Now I'm just gonna season it with some of my TX seasoning. And this is just coarse salt, coarse black pepper, all those Texas flavors. I've got a little bit of herbs in there just to give it a little pop, but mainly it's the salt and pepper that I want. And I'm gonna go pretty heavy with it. I want a good dose. This is gonna give it that crunchy bark on the outside. That's where I'm gonna get a lot of my flavor. It's gonna get down in those score marks, in that fat, so it actually touches the meat. Then we're gonna flip it over, do the exact same thing. Good dose of that pepper, that salt. That's gonna give us a nice bark with this TX on the outside. I just want it to hang out for a little bit while I go work on the fire. Now for this cook, I'm using my drum smoker, starting with some Royal Oak charcoal briquettes and a couple tumbleweeds to get those coals getting hot. Just drop it down inside the bottom of the drum and leave your vents 100% open, leave the lid off for about 15, 20 minutes. It's gonna let those coals get good and hot. Then we're gonna put the grate in place, get the lid on and check the vents back. We want about a quarter open on the intake and a quarter open on each exhaust. That's gonna let it run about 275. And before I put this picanha on the smoker, I'm gonna go ahead and get my meat probe right in the thickest part of it. I don't want to overcook this piece of meat, so I'm setting it for 122. When it goes off, it's gonna be about in that medium rare range with the carryover. So let's get it over to the grill. So the drum's running about 275. I'm gonna just set the meat right in the center of the cooking grate, get the lid back on. So now all I have to do is watch this dot. It's gonna tell me when it's done. It's gonna take about an hour, but I don't want to overshoot it. So when it tells me it's 122, I'll verify it. It'll be time to rest. All right, the dot's telling me that we're hitting marks 122 degrees, but I always like to verify. I know we got some fat dripping. I got some flames coming up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're gold, baby. Looks good. That sirloin's got some beautiful color on that top cap. Got some fat sizzling on the bottom. We're ready to get this thing over to the cutting board, let it do some resting. I love how this picanha is kind of plumped up. It looks beautiful, smells absolutely delicious. Got a nice crust on the outside, but I'm gonna wait at least about 10, 15 minutes. Just cover it loosely with aluminum foil. Let those juices stabilize a little bit. Let it calm down. Then I'm gonna slice it and try it if I can make it that long. So I let it sit here and hang out for about 15 minutes. Now it's time to cut this bad boy up. And you gotta remember, with on this picanha or this culotte, the grain was running across in this direction. So let's take a few slices off here. You can get thick or as thin as you want. I'm kind of angling the blade a little bit. I know I want that crunchy bite, but this looks beautiful. The knife just slides right through it. Oh, it looks awesome. I'm gonna have to get me a piece out of here. I mean, that just looks too good. I don't wanna put that on a sandwich, but it's beautiful. Fat's got crispy on the bottom. Take me a piece right out of that center. Holy crap. Wait a minute. That's up there with some of the best beef I've ever ate. This is amazing. Woo. It's tender, smoky, it's crunchy. It's got all that beef flavor, salt and pepper bark on the outside. 
That's amazing. This right here, pecan you done this way, it blows anything I've had away. All I need is a little bit of chimichurri to go with it. Shell, you gotta come get some of this. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I wish y'all were here to taste this one. By far, one of the best pieces of meat I've ever cooked. Top sirloin cap, picanha, culotte. I don't care what you call it. Get you one from Kevin down at the butcher shop. It'll blow you away. It's so easy to do. It only took about an hour at 275 on the drum. I'm gonna get that last little crunchy bite that I saved. Rare on the inside, barky on the outside. Mmm, flavor. Thanks for hanging out with us here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Shell and I talk about this picanha recipe, all the other fun stuff we're cooking on our weekly podcast. Y'all give that a listen to. We'll see you next time. All right, Shell, are you ready to be blown away? This is gonna rock your world.